Hi, boys and girls, it's Miss Millerick. I hope that you are very excited for this new video this week because not only is this a new video, but we're going to jump into a new topic in science. In kindergarten, you guys learned a lot about living things like plants and animals and what they need to survive. And in first grade, it's all about learning about what those parts of the plants and the animals are that help them survive. Take a look at these animals, for example. These kangaroos, this snowy owl, and lastly, this baby elephant and its parent. So what do they do with their body? What do they do with their behaviors? What do they learn from their parents that help them survive? We also wanna think about plants and their different parts and the way that they adapt for survival. This is what we'll be doing today, looking at plants. Today, we are going to do one of my favorite mysteries with Doug. I know that I say that all the time, but this really is a fun mystery. Um, so let's get started. So today's mystery question from Doug is up here in the corner. It says, why don't trees blow down in the wind? And that's a really great mystery question. Why don't trees blow down in the wind? They might lose some parts, but they rarely fall down. Let's investigate why. Hi, it's Doug. I want to tell you a little story. One summer, my family went on a day trip to the beach. I was so excited. We packed our stuff and got to the beach early in the morning. There were no clouds and the sun was shining brightly. Soon, it started to get hot, really hot. I wasn't used to being so hot. I decided I wanted to take a rest in the shade, but I looked around and there wasn't any shade at the beach. Now back at home, there were plenty of trees in our neighborhood that made lots of shade. So I could always cool down in the shade if I got hot. But at the beach, there weren't any trees at all. How could I get in the shade with no trees? Ah, I knew I could create my own shade with an umbrella. My dad had one in the car. So I set up our umbrella by sticking it in the sand and opening the top wide. It created a big shady spot. But now I noticed there was a problem. It was getting pretty windy at the beach. Sure enough, a gust of wind blew my umbrella away. I ran after the umbrella and put it back in the sand. Ah, shade. But then another gust of wind blew it away, and I realized that wind and umbrellas don't go very well together. One day, there was a lot of wind at a beach, and someone got a video of it. This is pretty funny. Check this out. Wow, the wind must be really strong. Look at all those umbrellas going. I bet it took a long time to find all the umbrellas that blew away and bring them all back. But now notice something here. Not everything is blowing away, is it? Like this, this beach chair, and this garbage can, and even this umbrella that wasn't open, it's lying on the ground. Watch, they don't blow away. Why do you think that the open umbrellas blow away, but the other things on the beach don't? Open this letter from Doug. Why do you think the umbrellas blew away, but the other things on the beach did not? That's a really good question. All the open umbrellas were flowing down the beach with the wind, but the other objects were not. Why don't you guys stop and you can turn and talk with someone, or you can just make a prediction out loud. Then press play. My umbrella was great for creating shade, a nice cool spot that I could lay down in. But on a windy day, it might blow away. I thought again about the shady trees at home. Hmm, you know, many trees are shaped kind of like umbrellas. They have skinny trunks on the bottom, just like an umbrella has a skinny pole. Trees also have lots of leaves spreading out on top, just like an umbrella has fabric spreading out on top. Both give lots of shade, but on a windy day, Trees don't fall over like an umbrella does. Sure, trees can fall over, but that's pretty rare. A breeze that knocks down an umbrella isn't going to knock a tree over. Why is that? Why do you think trees don't get blown down by the wind? Why do you think trees don't get blown down by the wind, but umbrellas do? So think about what you just predicted before, a moment ago. Why are the umbrellas 
falling all over the place and blowing down. But why don't trees, if they're shaped very similarly? Hmm. Doug says, to help us figure it out, let's pretend to be trees blowing in the wind. Maybe that'll give us some ideas. Go to the next slide to begin. Stand up and find a spot where you have space to move. Stand tall, as tall as you can. Your body is the tree's trunk. Then spread your legs like the roots of a tree. Great job. Put your arms up. Your arms are branches. Your hands and fingers are leaves. There's no wind yet, so don't move. Okay, go to the next slide. Grounded down, arms reaching up high. Let's see what's next. Now it's time to be a tree in the wind. Here comes the wind. Bend your branches and trunk. Wave your leaves in the wind. Oh, now the wind blows you this way. Oh, and now the wind blows you the other way again. Those are some high winds. Great job. Now we're done being trees. Everyone can take a seat. Discuss. Do you have any ideas about why trees don't blow down in the wind? Then it says, think about leaves, branches, and the trunk. So again, you can turn and talk with someone or you can just shout your ideas out. Maybe you write it down on a piece of paper. What are your ideas of why trees don't blow down in the wind? Does it have to do with any of their structural parts? There's one more thing we can do to help us figure out why trees don't blow down in the wind, but umbrellas do. We can compare trees with umbrellas. I mean, we can look at them side by side. So let's compare their different parts. An umbrella's pole is stiff and straight. What do you notice about trees that's different? What do you guys notice about trees, their trunk? Their trunk is just like an umbrella's pole, right? They're very similar in parts. Does an umbrella's pole bend the way the tree's trunks are bending in those high winds? No, umbrella poles are not meant to bend. Look up at an umbrella and look up at a tree. What do you notice is different? Hmm, what's the difference? If you're lying under an umbrella and you look up or if you're lying under a tree and you look up? I'm going to keep my opinion to myself, but I want you guys to shout your ideas out. What are you observing that's different? Look at the bottom of a beach umbrella and look at the bottom of a tree. What do you notice is different? Again, Ms. Millerick is going to keep her observations to herself, but you guys shout yours out or share with someone. What do you notice is different about the bottom part of an umbrella and the bottom part of a tree? Trees have some interesting parts that keep them from blowing over in the wind. Why don't trees blow over in the wind? Well, you might have noticed their roots. Like if we could remove all the dirt from around a tree and see the view of its roots looking sideways, it would look like this. The roots are one of a tree's parts or structures. The roots of a tree go deep in the soil and they spread out. They help hold the tree in place. Those umbrellas we saw earlier, they don't have anything like roots. In fact, there was nothing to hold these beach umbrellas down. They were just stuck into the sand. What other parts of a tree help keep it from blowing down in the wind? Well, here's one other thing to notice. Look at the way the tree's leaves move when the wind blows. Trees' leaves can wave around one by one in the wind, rather than catching all the wind at once, the way an umbrella does. If trees had one giant leaf instead, maybe they would blow down in the wind. Okay, so there's the roots, which help trees not fall down in the wind, and there's the way the leaves can all wave around one by one. 
What other parts of a tree might help it from blowing down in the wind? Well, here's one last thing that I noticed. Look at the tree's trunk and branches when the wind is blowing. Do you notice this? The branches bend, but they don't break. When the wind blows an umbrella's pole, the pole doesn't bend at all. It's stiff and straight. So that's one more part that trees have that helps them to not blow down. Bendy trunks and bendy branches. Roots, leaves, and branches are structures that keep trees from being blown down. It's like these structures give trees a superpower, the ability to stay up even when the wind blows strongly. This also makes them super at making shade for people when it's windy outside. So, could we design an umbrella to be more like a tree so that it doesn't blow down in the wind? What ideas do trees give you? So trees have superpowers. Their structural parts help them so that they can withstand all types of weather and other elements of life. What we're going to do is pause this mystery. It's not over. This is going to take us two weeks, okay? So we're stopping here. I want you to keep all that information that you learned today up there in your brain because we will use it next week and we are going to be building next week too. This week's follow-up activity is going to be all about those superpowers that trees have, how they help them survive, and lastly, you are going to have an observation piece to do as well. It'll all be explained in the document, okay? Make sure that you do the observation piece because it will help you with your part next week when you begin to build. I know this is a lot of different information, but don't worry, it'll make more sense next time we meet, all right? Bye, guys.